Hey everyone, Steven Harrell here from the Ginger Snaps here with a quick little video for you guys. Um, as we all know, my month of Halloween is all inspired with the Elm Street franchise and just doing that whole entire franchise is almost coming to a close. But I wanted to actually take the time to talk about uh, a very specific uh, item that was purchased not only by me, but also my roommate as well. Um, as we all know, that the Nightmare on Elm Street 40th anniversary is going to be coming up soon and as we all know that we finally got the 4Ks for the very first Nightmare on Elm Street film. Now we were all eagerly waiting for what the look of it would be and we were thoroughly disappointed to see what exactly they looked like. Um, here in Canada uh, we got the ones that uh, we weren't really looking forward to so uh, yeah. Basically, we got both copies. We got the 4K and the Steelbook. So I'm gonna be giving you guys my review on both of these because they're a little bit disappointing. All right, so we're gonna start with the standard copy 4K that I had purchased. This is the one I actually own. Um, I was gonna go for this one just because of the Steelbook, which we'll get into, but it was about time that Nightmare on Elm Street made it onto 4K. Now, of course, as we all know, that this is the slip cover. As you can tell, the uh, other cover is the same. But here's the thing about the slip cover that I guess everyone kind of got a little bit annoyed. Like, I mean, like for the shininess, it actually doesn't look too bad. And I do love the fact that it's the original font from the first film. You even got it on the spine, of course. And then you have the back. Now, the standard steel book here uh, has a similar backing to this as well. But let's go back to this cover. Now we all know this cover basically from the digitally remastered VHS or even the DVD that we have here. Um, as you can tell, this is what they basically base this off of, of just this image but of course it's not doesn't have Heather Langenkamp in there um, it doesn't have that bottom piece there with Freddy in the background and it doesn't have that little saying right there where it says if Nancy doesn't wake up screaming she won't wake up at all it's just Freddy just on the case right now the difference between this one the DVD case that we got here uh, and the um, this one here is because, uh, well, at least we got Glenn and we got Nancy from the original uh, fucking movie. But the problem is, if you all know that this Freddy is not fucking correct, this is a still image from Freddy Krueger in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, Dream Warriors. So why is an image of Freddy from Dream Warriors on the back of what is supposed to be the very first Nightmare on Elm Street. And of course, as we all know, this isn't even the original Freddy from the original film. This is from part three. So I don't know why they kept fucking recycling the same image. Why couldn't you just find an image of Freddy from the first film? Now, of course, when it comes to your standard 4K, of course, you know, like I, I've already watched this film on 4K. It, it's a better viewing. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, say anything too negative. But, of course, if all you fans out there who are looking for, forward to getting this, and they're like, oh, we're going to get the Blu-ray as well. Well, no, you're just going to get the standard 4K. That's what you're going to get. Now, the other thing about this is uh, that uh, disc, Wes Craven's A Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, I know the poster, the original poster, had this kind of font. That's not the correct font. It's that one. So a little bit of inconsistencies in this. And of course, if everyone's kind of wondering, does the uh, slip of this uh, 4K, is it interchangeable? No, it's not. It's not done by Screen Factory or Shell, but other than that, like, I was okay with the, uh, the 4K, because uh, when I get to that fucking steel book, uh, I'm gonna be contacting uh, the agent slip covers. Yeah, now we'll move on to the steel book. And this is the steel book. Yeah, of course, we have that sleeve where they match the steel book. Now let's get to the steel book. This is the steel book that we all presented online. We've shown off to the masses. So many fucking things. I mean, it's 
decided to go for a vintage look of an EHS type of uh, look. But if you're going to go for a vintage EHS look, look no further. Here's your example. You know, there's another example out there for EHS looks, and uh, sorry, but this doesn't have to be Now, we also know that in a normal video, as well as the new line cinema is owned by one So we have this little sticker here that says horror. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna assume that's Warner Brothers. Um, what really fucking bothers me is the fact that it's all written as Warner Brothers, but we all know this is a new line cinema, so why couldn't New Line Cinema stick with fucking logo? Now it all comes back to We got slash notes. But let's get one thing straight. This is so fucking easy. Yeah, oh, it's much more even directed. Especially when you have this image here. This is Freddy Krueger. You've seen his book. Now we've seen this in the big box set. Blu-ray. Where is this fucking image? And as we all know, if you're going to advertise the original Nightmare on Elm Street, use a fucking image from that film. Not Freddy vs. Jason from 2003. This is one of the things that really bugged me on this. Even on the spine, like, it's the newer font on the Aaron Elm Street. But now if you look at Freddy, that little image right there, that's Freddy from his posture in Freddy vs. Jason. Why the fuck is it like that? But then we get to the back. This is the most glaring fucking reason as to why I also said fuck Um, we have an image of Freddy, and this image of Freddy resembles the image that you're seeing right now. This is from part four. This was a public still photo that Robert England did where he was wearing a trench coat, and this is the image. And of course, you, you're fucking advertising the very first Nightmare on Elm Street. Why are you using images from part four? But the most egregious thing is his glove. That does not look like any glove from part three, part four, part five, hell, even the first film. That's the remake. You're mixing and matching so many different eras of Freddy's fucking history into one steel book that is supposed to advertise the very first fucking film. Now, of course, as we all know, when you open the case, this is the only resemblance to the very first film that we get is this image of Robert Ingram in the boiler room when Nancy is in school. She starts to dream about Freddy. And of course, the same thing with the other 4K that we got. It's basically the same as the we get for both standard 4K or the Steelbook 4K. But, I mean, you get this image of Freddy, sure, but this is the only image that's resembling of the actual so, when it comes to these, like, the I prefer the original 4K better because when you only come to Steelbooks, they have to look good. And I'm sorry, but this Steelbook, I know maybe some people might like it. I'm not a fucking fan of the Steelbook. So, I'm gonna stick with the 4K. You can probably get a better 